she really cut my hair off this is not easy that's when i feel like my hair just started to get like really like thin chopping my hair off no this was the worst cut ever hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new i'm Brit. today i'm going to be taking you guys through my hair journey how i got here to waist length look at it <laughs> I've pictured myself doing this for so many years and I feel like finally I'm able to tell the story and I'm gonna include pictures and videos and all of that but grab some popcorn grab some food grab a snack and sit back and relax and enjoy the story of how I got here <laughs> so this starts in elementary I my mom started relaxing my hair because I it was just a lot for her to deal with and work and hey no shame she did what she felt would have made things a lot easier for her so i started getting my hair relaxed from i was really young and i liked them i liked the relaxers because i felt pretty when my hair was all smooth and straight i felt like that was pretty after a while my mom started bringing me to the hairdresser to get my hair done because it was just too much for her and work and bringing me to the hairdresser was easier. I was just miserable going to the hairdresser, honestly. Each hairdresser like had something that either my mom didn't like or I didn't like. So I feel like I went through a few of them. Keep on fast forwarding all through middle school and all of that, I was still getting perms. I mean, relaxers. I always mix those up. But over the years, my hair just got thinner and thinner and thinner and I feel like at first I didn't realize because I was so focused on my hair being like long and beautiful so the fact that it was thin really didn't bother me I guess you can say it was still pretty long but it was thin I want to say about freshman year of high school is when I really started just full-on washing my hair on my own and you know putting the products in blow drying it and flat ironing it. that being said I was flat ironing my hair a lot I wanted it to be bone straight I feel like I fried off like I really fried off the front of my hair not crispy but like you could the front of my hair was definitely shorter than the rest but again, straight long hair was cute to me, you know, so it didn't stand out like that. Now, I hated the hairdresser so much. I spent all day there. It was just a long process. It was boring. It, I was hot, especially when you would be on the, the dryer for what feels like three hours and then they take you out. And then they tell you you need to go back under again. And it's like, I know my hair is dry. There is no way. I need to go back under this dryer <laughs> they would cut my hair off and hey maybe it was a trim but i feel like there's times and they would really like cut my hair off i would literally start bawling as soon as i get in the car when my mom picked me up and i hated that maybe my hair was just really bad and they said they were gonna trim it but they just ended up cutting it a little bit more i really don't know but there was one time literally i left with my hair on my shoulders that day proved that they like she really cut my hair off so that being said i started going to the hairdresser less and less which means i started taking more and more care of my hair fast forward to about maybe 11th grade i want to say i just stopped going to the hairdresser altogether i feel like maybe i went one time but i know for sure after that i was done and 12th grade year I was completely just taking care of my hair on my own. Late 11th grade, all of 12th grade, I was definitely fully taking care of my hair. And then every now and then my mom would use the boxed relaxer, put it in for me, and then I would do the rest because I was like, no more hairdresser. I got this. I'm a pro. And it was like that for a little bit, all the way through um, freshman year of college. I ran track 11th grade and 12th grade year. I, I say I ran track, but I feel like I just went to practice and I just, I did track practice. But track practice, I would sweat my hair out, which meant flat ironing it every morning. Literally every morning, I would put the flat iron to my hair. It would be like sweaty and frizzy and puffy from practice. So in the morning, I would go over it and go to school that's when i feel like my hair just started to get like really like thin and wispy and just 
Ugh, gross. After a while, I feel like I started to notice and I was like, hmm, how can I make this better? And I was like, hmm, I'll just stop blow drying my hair. So for a while, like all freshman year of college, all senior year of high school, I just didn't blow dry my hair and I just air dried it. Did this help? Possibly. Some months my hair looked better than others, but again, it was just very thin and unhealthy and slowly I started to realize that. And I wouldn't really trim my hair because now I'm not going to the hairdresser, so I was in full control of my hair. Every now and then, maybe I'd cut off like a little smidge of hair. I never thought about going natural. Even though I started to realize my hair isn't like that great, it was something that I never saw myself doing. I didn't think I would be pretty. Even my friend, she went natural three years, or four years before I did, I can't really remember. And when she did it, I was like, props to you, but that's not gonna be me. I'm not doing that, have fun with that. <laughs> I just liked my relaxed hair. I liked the fact that I could swim in the pool or go to the beach anytime I wanted to, and it would just be so easy to wash my hair and take care of it. Fast forward to 2016, I'm coming up on being a sophomore in college, and I just randomly, got the thought one day i woke up and i was like you know i'm kind of ready for a change i'm ready to not have thin hair like it was just it was so random like i literally woke up and just was like i'm gonna do this and i feel like it was just like a while that i didn't get the relaxer because i thought the longer that i stretch it out the healthier my hair would get so i tried to avoid getting a relaxer for as long as i possibly could and I was like, hey, it's been a while, so why not start to transition? 2016, I just started transitioning. I didn't um, stop the heat though. I just told my mom like, hey, I'm not going to relax my hair anymore. I just continued to straighten it. And like, I started having fun with like the curling iron and I would do like little curls and stuff like that as my relaxer grew out. And then eventually I just stopped. Like I just stopped the heat. I started doing like buns when I was transitioning. Transitioning was definitely like a hard point for me because I'm like, okay, I'm not flat ironing it anymore because I don't want to ruin the curly hair that's coming in. So I stopped flat ironing and it was difficult because I didn't know what to do with my hair. Like if I'm not flat ironing it, then what do I do? So I started wearing buns and literally guys, that was pretty much all I did the whole time I was transitioning. And then eventually I would do like space buns, but honestly it was just buns and space buns. That's all I did because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> it was like that for about 10 or 11 months. And then eventually I'm like, I'm sick of these space buns. They look stupid. My hair just looks a mess with the two different textures going on, with the two different curl patterns going on. I just felt like I looked crazy and August 3rd, 2017, three days before the semester ended, I did my big chop. I cut my hair randomly at night. I did not do this properly. I messed my hair up. Like this was the worst cut ever. And I think I was just so tired and I just wanted to get it over with that I just did it really fast. But honestly, I, I should have taken way more time and just gently and carefully cut my hair but i just chopped the thing off i even had to go back like a few like maybe three months later and like cut some more off because i realized wait this is a terrible cut <laughs> and i was natural i did it i transitioned for like 11 months and now I'm natural and it's crazy because i never thought that i would cut my hair off two things never thought that i would go natural and hated short hair so big chops and all of that was not a thing and that's why i decided to transition because chopping my hair off no it was the shortest my hair has ever been and yeah that is when i became fully natural and it was rough i'm not gonna sit here and say that it was an easy journey even afterwards i struggled a lot i didn't know what to do with my hair I went through like a small period of just feeling like really ugly, not feeling cute, not feeling pretty, not liking the short hair, 
feeling lost, feeling confused, like what do I do? How do I do this? After that, I, I kind of feel like I got the hang of it maybe a little bit. And then I went through like the whole awkward length period and that was hard as well because I didn't know what to do. I couldn't put my hair in a bun, but wearing it out, I was kind of tired of it because I didn't like how it looked and it was rough. It was rough. I feel like I was definitely sick of it at one point, but I stuck with it and here we are. It is December 2nd, 2020, and I'm still learning things about my hair. I'm still improving on things. I'm still learning new styles. When I first went natural, I hated my hair like out and fluffy, but now like when I'm taking my twists out, I literally just make it messy and fluffy on my own. It's a great feeling to finally love my hair. Three years of being natural for me to finally love my hair. That is my journey. I'm just trying to picture the pictures that I probably inserted in this video and I know, oh my gosh, it's crazy. If you're going natural, if you're transitioning, write down below how long you've been transitioning for. If you are natural, um, write down below how long you've been natural for. If you are thinking about it, maybe you might be like me and you might spontaneously want to do this, but to each his own, do it. You can always turn back and get a relaxer again if you want. And don't feel crappy. Like there's people who go natural and then they go back and get a relaxer and like people tear them apart because they're like, oh, your hair was so pretty. At the end of the day, it's their hair and you know, you should never bring somebody down because they decided to go back to a relaxer. That's them. Some people go natural and they realize that it's not for them. Like, and that's okay. Like, this is not easy. Just take the time to watch YouTube videos, learn your hair, learn different techniques and styles that make the process easier for you. Now I'm honestly ready to have some fun. I'm ready to blow out my hair. I've never done that. And I think that's coming very, very soon. If you guys want to see my hair blown out, subscribe. Because I honestly, I'm itching to do it. I've made it this far. Like, come on. I can blow my hair out. I'm ready to try some headband wigs. That's been going around and I've, I've really like been interested in that i want to give that a shot i feel like i'm i finally like reached the finish line where i'm happy with my hair i'm comfortable you know with my hair like this i don't mm. see myself ever going back to a relaxer honestly it seemed like it was gonna take forever for my hair to grow but literally time just flew by like that so here we are if you haven't subscribe join the fam and follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. That was a lot of talking. I'm hungry. I feel like I worked up an appetite.